K104.5. How you doing? I'm Renee Miller on this beautiful day, and it's a great day for lovers. So if you're in love, here's a song that you're going to want to listen to. It's O'Brien with you and I on K104.5. Hey, Fran, you never really answered my question. Where's your husband, Jake? Where's the party man? I'm not exactly sure where Jake is. What? What do you mean, you're not sure? <laughs> Hello? Are you guys in there? <laughs> Hi! Hi! Hello. How are Destiny. you? I'm so 
glad you invited me. Girl. You're so welcome. Come here. Glass of wine? Oh, yeah. Okay. Thanks. Oh, how you doing? Hey, Kirk. How are Hi, you? Great. Good to see you. Yeah. Hi, friends. Hey, Zola. Good to see you. You too. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a long day. I'm going to the box. Okay. okay. Just help. Oh, girl. This is strong. Mm -hmm. You're looking mighty sharp for the afternoon boat cruise. Well, it's a party, right? It's a little gathering, sweetie. Another club shindig. Oh well. <laughs> Woo! Come on, Destiny, let's dance. Woo! It's like a field roll in here. Come on. Come on, friend. Oh, we're gonna play. <laughs> That's what, Zola. Drives me drinking a lot of alcohol. <laughs> Come on, girl. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kurt. Yeah, we won't do this. Oh. We should do this. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'd like to give a toast to my lovely wife, love of my life, her sweet friend Zola, <laughs> and Fran. What can I say about Fran? Oh, just kidding. Here's the cruising on the lake, y'all. Jake, you know you really embarrassed me. When you decided not to show up for Kirk's celebration on his boat. I'm sure it was a great gathering. You sure it was a great gathering? I need to call him to apologize. No, we're not doing that. You sitting here acting as if you don't know why I didn't attend. I don't. It doesn't matter. I said we're not calling him. <laughs> you know, I noticed you had several drinks this afternoon. You shouldn't be drinking in the afternoon. Nor should you be drinking while you're taking your meds. Jake, I drink when I want to, okay? And by the way, I haven't taken my meds in over three weeks. What? That's right. You haven't taken your meds? Don't you worry about that. You don't worry about that. Jake, I said I was sorry a million times. You know how I get.
You know I love you. But look at this shit. You must be crazy. I don't know why I put up with all this pain. Just a few moments of pleasure with you. Take a break, okay? <laughs> Let's get up here. You know he wants to see you, right? It's not gonna happen. It's, just, it's been 20 years since you last laid eyes on him. You know he's nothing but trouble. But he is your father. The answer is no, Nora. Taking too much of your time, Mrs. Caldwell, so let me get straight to the point. Exactly what is your relationship with Kirk Peters? Whatever do you mean? Uh, Mrs. Caldwell, do you know Kirk Peters? Of course I do. He's the husband to one of my oldest and dearest friends. Is he also a client? Yes, he is. My firm serves as counsel for his company's business matters. And Mrs. Caldwell, what exactly are Tricorps' business matters? The company imports trinkets from Thailand to the U.S. That's it. Why are you asking? Do you know of any other business that Tricorps, or Mr. Peters for that matter, might be involved in? No. Not really. I, I've handled a few real estate deals for him personally, but nothing else. Gentlemen, why are you here? Well, I have information to the contrary. What? Basically, if I were you, Mrs. Caldwell, I'd be concerned. You see, it seems that junk Ain't the only cargo that you and Tricorps are selling. What the hell is this?
Hello, Destiny. Brian! Brian! Oh my God, Brian! Destiny, why are you yelling? What's going on? Kirk is dead! Brian Kirk is dead! Just 